Hello everyone, hope you had a great weekend. Um, to start my message today, uh, I'm going to uh, put up some quotes and I want you to try to guess who said them. The first quote is, me love me cookies. That would be the cookie monster from Sesame Street. Some people are worth melting for. That would be Olaf from Frozen. Everybody, shake your hair and feel united. That would be Poppy from the movie Trolls. Do or do not, there is no try. That would be Yoda from The Empire Strikes Back. Four score and seven years ago. That would be Abraham Lincoln during his Gettysburg Address. And finally, I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. That would be Jesus. That quote from Jesus can be found in John chapter 10, verse 14. And we're going to look at that verse today because yesterday we celebrated what we call Good Shepherd Sunday. A shepherd watches over sheep. And sheep need a shepherd because, quite frankly, they're not very smart animals, and they have a horrible sense of direction. Sadly, we act a lot like sheep. We know Jesus' commands, yet like sheep, we often fail to listen to them. For example, Jesus tells us to obey and respect those that he has put in charge of us. But how often do you talk back to your parents or fail to listen to your teachers? Jesus tells us to be kind to one another. But how often do you fight with, or not share with, or talk bad about your brothers, or your sisters, or your friends? Like sheep, when it comes to listening to Jesus' commands, we aren't always very smart. Also like sheep, we often wander and we lose focus. God has given us everything we need, but instead of being content and thankful, how often do we spend our time and our energy and our, and our effort on everything except Jesus? Like sheep, without a shepherd, we are lost. But I have some good news for you today, and it comes from John chapter 10, verse 14 to 15. It says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Throughout the Bible, we hear um, it talked about how God died, or Jesus died to save the whole world. But as your good shepherd, how awesome is it to know that Jesus died for each and every one of you? And not only did he die for you, he knows you and he loves you. And we know him. Not in the way that um, we know who Olaf or Abraham Lincoln or Yoda are. You have a relationship with him. And it's not because of anything that you have done. It's solely based on the fact that the Holy Spirit works to create faith in your hearts. What a great and amazing shepherd we have and how blessed we are as his sheep. And so to close our devotion today, I, I want to encourage you to listen to your good shepherd as he says, Turn from your sins. Come and follow me. Listen to my words. Love one another. Go and tell others about me. And so may Jesus, our good shepherd, bless you, his little lambs, today and forever. Let's pray. O oh God, your Son is a shepherd of your people. Grant that when we hear his call, we will know his voice and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. God's blessings, and uh, have a great week.